What's going on everyone today i got three blu-ray reviews for you guys today discussing them all i got all sent them from sandwich on films the man john has sent me these to review and i'm ready to talk about them because all three of these things i particularly liked i particularly really enjoy some of them and i'm ready to talk about them and tell you what blu-rays and 4k blu-rays that you guys should be looking out for so the first one that we're going get, to be getting to is the first purge now the first purge did come out this last week and if you didn't check out my review earlier you can find it down below or at sandwich on films.com but of course the first purge now i, I first of all disclaimer if you're not a purge fan this film isn't gonna convert you to loving the purge necessarily this is very much the same but the thing that I really do appreciate about this one is that I was not a fan of the third Purge film, uh, Purge Election Year. I thought it was very disappointing. I thought the story was horrible and that I'm a chocolate girl. It just ruined the whole film for me in general. But the first Purge, the reason I really enjoyed this is one, because of the direction. I think the direction in this film is outstandingly strong. Is it the best script? Absolutely not. The script is horrendous in here. It, it has the cheesy lines. It's the same kind of Purge script that you have. But the thing about the first Purge is the action sequences in here. And it actually tackles some topical messages in here. Not in the best light, but it's still there. And it's not being shoved down your throat. But I absolutely love the action sequences in here. And the main stars of here are great. Especially Yelan Noel. The guy plays the Dimitri in here and my god this guy's gonna be the next blade I'm not even joking like this guy is just perfect for this film he's one of the main standout reasons that this film works overall and again the direction here is strong with the action sequences some of the best action sequences in any of the purge films definitely a purge fan so i think if you are too you're gonna still enjoy this the picture quality is beautiful the blacks levels because of course a lot of the film takes place at night if you're a purge fan you're definitely gonna like this one of course now if you're looking for some special features there's not too much the deleted scene in here there's only one it's not that good but there is one cool thing in here where it, it goes around the masks and talks about all the cool mask designs that they did in the purge and that was probably the best special feature there is so if you're one of those people you're gonna enjoy that one for sure and moving on to the next 4k blu-ray we got to talk about today and that is skyscraper now skyscraper Skyscraper obviously stars Dwayne Johnson or The Rock, whatever you want to talk about him. Now, first off, I enjoyed this film in the theaters. It's very much a guilty pleasure, but I think this film faltered on a couple parts. One being, I really think this film would have benefited from rated R rating. I thought the film was going to be rated R when I first saw the first trailer, but it's not, and it's more of a PG-13 diehard in a sense, which we've gotten PG-13 diehards, but this is a better version of those PG-13 versions of diehards, but it's still a fun film. I think Skyscraper is an enjoyable flick. If you're a fan of The Rock, you're going to like this. If you're a fan in general of action films that are very much not the best, you're going to get that. But the thing about Skyscraper that really gets holds is Dwayne Johnson's performance. He's this charismatic, loving guy that he brings everything to the screen. And this is one of the big reasons that Skyscraper works. It's his charisma that bleeds out all the time. If it wasn't for him, if it was another lead, this would have easily been a VOD film. But with the look of the film, with the look of the film, I found myself actually being odd it looked like they had actually gone back through and redid a lot of the special effects because in the theaters i thought they looked decent but on at home in 4k they are just bleeding with beautiful imagery the audio levels when the skyscraper is like being teared apart you hear that screeching noise it's great it feels and gets you it makes you feel like you're there but i might say even though this film doesn't have a lot of special features i mean a lot of blu-rays and 4ks don't really carry that many now the director's commentary on here is one to look out for ross and thurber the director of this film he gives some great insight into this and i again i'm not like if you guys watch my previous videos i'm not the biggest person on director's commentaries but this is one that i really do recommend looking forward to this skyscraper this film does come out on october 9th on 4k and blu-ray so go check it out i've saved the best for the last and that is ash vs the evil dead the complete collection now let me tell you ash vs the evil dead the complete collection Ah, oh, if you guys know me, I'm a huge Ash vs. the Evil Dead fan. I'm a huge Evil Dead fan in general. It's one of my favorite horror f franchises in general. I love Army of Darkness. It's one of my favorite films. Now, Ash vs. the Evil Dead, of course, picks up all that and just goes with it. There's three seasons in here, and I absolutely loved this show to death. It, it is one of my favorite shows, and obviously this does come out on October 16th, so if you missed out on this show on Stars, this is the best time to pick it up. It's $40, $44 for every single season and going through, so that is like almost over five hours of Ash vs. the Evil Dead mayhem and nonsense. If you're a fan of the Evil Dead franchise, this is right up your alley. I absolutely adore Ash vs. the Evil Dead, the franchise. I cannot even get into it more. Let me just say one thing about this collection, though, is that there really is no special features. If you're into that thing, it's not gonna like pop out to you and go through it. 
I went through each of the discs and they're all pretty much the same of what you get in the regular Blu-ray copies of them, which was a little bit disappointing personally for me, but I still really much enjoyed going through and at least rewatching some of my favorite episodes. I'm not going to watch the whole seasons within one day, but I still went through and checked out every single thing went through all the special features, wanted to see what was there, and nothing was really added, especially with the season three being the last, you think they would have added a little bit more of a farewell goodbye, since that is the last thing, and it did leave off on a cliffhanger, in a sense, but also fits for the Evil Dead series, so it's still worth checking out. I, I wish, though, that there was more to it, because I wish there was more of farewell. This is the last thing that we're ever going to see of Bruce Campbell as Ash, so I kind of wanted a little bit more on that. I enjoyed this. I think it's fine. I think it's fun, definitely. If you're out on checking out the show, this is the best time to pick it up. So Ash vs. the Evil Dead, Evil Dead Collection comes out on October 16th. Make sure to pick it up, especially if you're a horror fan. And it's perfect time. It's Halloween coming up. Maybe this is the show that you're going to want to get down to watch. Let's review everything that we've gone through. Of course, we talked about the first Purge, which if I were to give this 4K Blu-ray a review, I'd probably give it a B- minus for the look, the audio, and everything in it. Now, if it's the film quality-wise, it's probably going to be a C, a C-, minus, but still, if you add it all together, it's going to be a little bit fun, a little bit kind of guilty pleasure this, and a little bit of a purge. If you're talking about Skyscraper, I'd easily give this film a B as a 4K review. The storyline for this is pretty cliche and pretty simple, but it's a lot of fun. It has Dwayne Johnson, and it looks beautiful and has great audio quality to it, so why not check it out? Of course, Ash was the evil that the complete collection. I want, wholeheartedly, I'd rather give this thing an A+, but the fact is, is that I was really disappointed not to see a lot of special features in here. Yes, you get all the seasons, you get some minor details in here, but in that third season, it was really disappointing to not get a lot of special features and i hope down the road maybe we'll get some more maybe in a special super duper collection i don't know that's just the evil dead fan of me talking but if i were to give this one i'd easily give it a b plus so for me personally this is the best one to pick up it looks good it's the audio level in there and it's perfect time around with halloween but i mean it if you go to Skyscraper, this is a fun action film. If you're a Dwayne Johnson fan, this is one for you. And if you're into action and horror, then you kind of got the first purge all mixed in there as well. But guys, my name is Zach. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Hit up Sandwich on Films also over there. Before we get going, let's talk about a giveaway that I'm going to be doing. It's for Ash vs. Evil Dead The Complete Collection. There's a digital code in here. I'm sure if some of you guys want that. What I want you guys to do is I want you guys to comment down below and tell me what is your favorite. I mean favorite thing out of all three of these things and which one are you going to be picking up let's talk about it down below in the comments i'm going to be putting your name in a hat and then i'm going to go start it around pick a name out in a couple weeks and then we'll get down to that guys thank you guys so much for watching this of course again until next time stay classy